There are plans to outfit as many schools as possible with murals and in the school's beautification program. Minister of Education Kay McConney shared the idea during the unveiling of the Blazing Trails mural on Monday, June 11th at Graydon City Secondary School, Pilot Road, St. Michael. The mural, painted by artists Kwame Hunt, Nikolai Charles, Sherry Nichols, and Don Small, depicts former headmasters Graydon City and Matthew Farley, entertainer Ricky Lil Rick Reed, Calypsonia Christina Dotton, and former West Indian all-rounder Dwayne Smith. McConney said that it was important students had their psychosocial needs met in order to help them to be the best people they can be. We are committed to ensure that our students are exposed to a sound education system which caters to our diverse learning needs and what they call our psychosocial needs, that is our psychological needs as well as our social needs. We recognize that during this time, especially during this break, that education really made a difference for many of you who miss your friends, who miss the personal and close-up contact with your teachers and with your colleagues. And that impacted the learning experience of many of you. Is that not true? And so we understand that when we talk about your psychosocial needs, it is making sure that you're not just getting the content of a particular subject, but you're also getting the type of social interaction and the type of psychological support and emotional support that will help you to be able to take in, as we would say in Barbados, just take in the learning even better and to be able to excel in whatever you do. These ideals of quality education are readily recognized in the provision of the digital tools like laptops and tablets, in the provision of school meals, and of subsidizing uniforms and books, which we continue to do to ensure that you are able to participate actively in your educational experience. And while these priority needs must continue to take center stage, we are also aware of the role which color and aesthetics of our built environments play in setting the tone for learning and positive development. And while we acknowledge the role which social and emotional learning plays in education, we are seeking to make sure that we do not trivialize the other aspects of your environment that make learning happen. The Ministry of Education, our school's beautification program is therefore aimed at securing quality learning environments where color, layout, design, and the installation of murals, they work together to enhance a positive feeling and spirit and ethos of school. McConney said over the last three years, they had overseen the installation of murals at six schools. Granny Adams Memorial, Frederick Smith Secondary, the Anne Hill School, St. Mary's Primary, Graydon Sealy, and one yet to be unveiled at a primary school in Christchurch.